And this leads us into Agatha all along because I, I just, at, by the end of this episode, um, the only thing that I can really say to some of my thoughts is this episode is arguably one of the best examples of a, an episode in a season that you didn't think you needed, mm-hmm. but when it airs, you're like, damn, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I For didn't sure. know that I needed that in this story. For a number of reasons that we're going to get into, but I'm sure as hell I got that. And um, the only other thing I'm going to point out before I'm going to let you share your overall thoughts is is that um, I literally the first scene I wrote down this, not knowing any of the context about what was to come, but just the good witch (parentheses Lilia) falls from grace. Yeah. <laughs> I I did not I did not know it just looked like I was like wow she's dressed just that that imagery stuck in my head and I'm yeah. like the good witch uh, but but yeah so that is my starting points on Agatha Long episode seven death's hand in mine will what about you yeah I I'm there with you I mean this was as it was in our earlier thoughts about tv shows and stuff and thinking about as i mentioned you know the up and down nature of some of the shows on disney plus um this definitely will, will when i watch this episode i, I haven't had a a, a a verbal out loud reaction to a show on disney a marvel show in disney in a very long time i think mm-hmm. the last one was maybe um I think I guess Loki was the last look the Loki finale. Whenever uh, that yeah. was, that was one where I was just like, "Damn!" And so in this episode, that's I had that moment uh, with with Lila. But with when she turned that card over, and the towers flipped, and 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 I saw what was transpiring there. And to your point about the the good witch falls from grace. I had that, mm-hmm. that was, you know, that, this, that, because it was a very, you know, nonlinear stories can go, they can either work really well, or they can go right. sideways. And this was, <laughs> this was chef's kiss as far as a nonlinear story with cutbacks and, and flashbacks and everything that I haven't, you know, it, it was just so well executed. And just when they had that moment and they pulled everything together, I was like, Yeah. Yeah, this show, this, this 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 is this show is is like probably I you know this week I will say this show was my favorite show of the week between Agatha and Penguin. Um, I am so glad episodes. you said that. I am so glad you said that because I will be honest, I I was waiting for my turn to say that, yeah. and for you to be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> Just, and not to say Penguin was bad, okay. but I mean this was this right, was right. I mean. I was, and I watched it again tonight, right before we recorded, just to see if my gut reaction was was the same, and and I, it was. I mean, I just like this. This was a solid, this is a well executed out uh, forty minutes of television. Yeah, I um, have not rewatched it. I've been a bit busy, but it is something that if I ever. After the show is over, maybe end up this weekend, I might say, I just want to throw that back on just Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. I'm sure I miss things and because there was so much going on and it was non told non linearly. But I guess, hmm. So, man, because it's non linear storytelling. It's very like we (laughs) it's almost as though it's a challenge when we already review shows non literally, (laughs) non sequential. (laughs) So So it falls right in our wheelhouse. (laughs) Right, it should. It should. So but I guess I guess a good starting point is just how last week in particular with Billy's origin story, Mm. um we meet Lilia right in the beginning mm-hmm. as the fortune teller 
and we have the tower reversed line. We also commented last week about how it was as though she was possessed. Mm-hmm. But and 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 that was just so that conversation we had last week stuck in my mind as soon as we started realizing some of what was happening with L- Lilia and just how much she's actually her power and her abilities are connected to time in a way that we had no idea. Although, and I think this is why the non-linearness worked so well is because they flashed to the breadcrumbs that they were they were laying throughout mm. all of the previous episodes. Yep. Um, even the episodes that were arguably some like the worst of the season you're just like oh i forgot about that moment at the time that stuck out to me when they were trapped in the house that was being flooded Mm -hmm. but i had forgotten about that um but now it makes sense and and i'm really glad so i just really appreciate how the the writers were smart enough where it didn't come out of nowhere and they had planted enough seeds, but the seeds were deep enough where you also didn't even suspect it. <laughs> yeah, that's, and I think that's why it was just so, especially when I, when I, and the reason why I did rewatch it, because there was just so much. And I think I just wanted to like go back and like pick up those, see those cues again. Right. Like as you were mentioning that from the prior episodes and and they did i mean especially when it's like ishikuki you know it was like all yeah. all those little things that they just they just laid the foundation and that, and i just that's the type of storytelling that i've been missing out of the mcu uh some of these disney plus shows is just the mm-hmm. that that solid that 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 storytelling foundation and then and then they executed it and i know and, and I, know, I was looking at the credits and i, and I noted jack schaefer who was the showrunner for both this show and WandaVision, uh, was the director. She didn't write it this time, but um, but I think just the way this episode was directed, you know, it's like that 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 peak, you know, ship of thesis moment in WandaVision, you know, those those standout moments in WandaVision that you know, that made, you know, that set the bar so high for for, yeah. for the Disney Plus shows. And that was I felt that same way when I was watching this episode. And and also to your point, as you as you mentioned earlier about, you know, we had Billy's story you know, right. last last week and and then and in whatever Billy and Agatha were trying to um figure out the tarot cards and, and, and the readings and and just stumbling well, through it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think I think it very quickly also answered uh, or it it resolves something from last week and the fact that I pointed out, like, how is it that Agatha is the only one alive? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I mean, like, what did she do? Mm -hmm. (laughs) And we we had no idea. Well, it turns out neither Jennifer nor Lilia died. They just ended up in the tunnels and very conveniently were able to. Well, conveniently and also just because of Lilia's gift, be able to navigate very quickly to figure out where to go um, because the last the this last trial is all about tarot cards and falls up into rolls up into uh, Lilia's uh, overall power set, if yeah. you will. <laughs> and and um, what what something to that I think that the writers did a good job in in this episode is also reinforcing that idea that all of these witches who joined this cousin coven for different reasons have either have what we perceived as lost their powers mm-hmm. and that's what they want. But it turns out with Lilia over the course of this episode, which was surprising. No, no, no. She has always had her power. She's mm-hmm. just learned over time, over centuries, how to mute it per se, because yeah. 
when you have that ability to go through time the way she does, she ultimately just focused on the death of it all. Yeah. And that's why this this episode is called Death's Hand in Mine is because we find out that she did have a coven when she was growing up and when she was really coming into her own abilities. And then she could see the future, but she couldn't do anything to stop it. Yeah. So she couldn't do anything to protect her coven. And and that's why the moment, the self-sacrifice at the end is so important and such a, a good way to, to end this this journey for her is because mm-hmm. she was able to do for them what she wasn't in the past. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah. 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 I mean, I think that's one of the, yeah, that, that fear, you know, cause I was just thinking about that. That was another thing that was really, really resonated with, with me in this, with, with her journey as we, as we learn more about why she, you know, that she held back from, from it because yeah actually you know she can go from literally having the time of her life to like you know flashing to the point where she she sees her, her end i mean like the way the quite frankly the way the episode began and you know and, and so we think about it from that standpoint like if if you had the power to divination like that to 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 and and, and see events you know how, you know how would you react to that and i think that was one of the things that that, that really also resonated with me in this episode too as a viewer is just like okay you know, I I could see why she why she went down the path that she did, um, mm-hmm. and and you know and you know and even like and even whenever she was reading the tarot cards to, to to Billy, whenever whenever they did finally figure out what was going on, and he was you know asking the questions, and you know Billy asked the question like, you know, am I Billy or am I William Kaplan? You know, she, you know, I think her she didn't answer the question because I think part of it is like, you know, she wanted to allow him that same journey of self self journey of, of self you know, actualization and figuring out who, who he is and, and not, the, not answer that question for him because, you know, otherwise, you know, he, the lessons that she's learned along the way and, and to get to that point where we saw in the end of the episode where she realized that she had to make that sacrifice you know, Billy's got to have Billy Williams got to have the well, teen or has got to have that journey for himself. And she can't answer that for him. And I, and I thought that was another really strong thing about the episode, too. I didn't think that she couldn't answer it. No, I she thought that. No, she, she wouldn't answer it. That's what I meant to say. I meant to say. I, that's what I meant to say. She wouldn't answer the question for him. Well, that, that was that was his question for the tarot card reading, right? And but she couldn't she she didn't finish it because she realized that it what like the game they weren't if even if they she had played the final few cards because mm-hmm. I think she got like halfway through yeah it, it wouldn't have stopped the sure. trial because the trial wasn't about Billy it was yeah. about her yeah she's yeah. the traveler he's not the traveler and but that does bring up something I wanted to point out. I thought that coming off of last week, where we end with just Agathon Billy, and we get so much information about Billy, and these two are our main characters, to then go into this episode, and they they did a very smart job about leading us with with those two characters Mm -hmm. still asking questions i i like the question is wanda max moss really dead and just the distrust between these two and then and then slowly but not too slowly also getting this b storyline with lilia and then about 20 minutes in it's like no 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 this isn't this isn't Agatha and Billy's episode. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is Lilia's. <laughs> like yeah. it, it makes a quick turn, but they had to do that because even though this is Lilia's episode, it, it still doesn't take away from Agatha or Billy's parts and their journeys. Um, mm-hmm. 
because those questions from last week, viewers still also have in their mind. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was another, yeah, I think that's, uh, that was another, like, highlight for the episode, too. It's just, uh, and, and also, um, you know, it's, I love that, I love Agatha's line, you know, X, you know, you know, trying to get straight answers. It's not, you know, I, I like, I, I like trying to get find a straight straight lady yeah <laughs> you gotta find a straight witch yep yep yeah, that was yeah. that was a a great quote from that episode for sure yeah yeah and because it, it had so many levels to it i mean not only you know the, the, the one of the big things is just like even like whenever uh you know whenever lila and and, and billy are, and the team were like you know the querent and he's like you, he's like you mean the querent <laughs> so yeah i just yeah, you know, and so you know, really digs you know, so that same line from um, Agatha just you know really digs into this you know the, the not hiding the fact that she's that she's queer and and you know and it, it gets back to the relationship with her and Rio. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which which we learn a little bit about because, man, I completely forgot about Rio. <laughs> completely <laughs> forgot about her. And then, and then, so, so at the beginning during Bill, when Billy and Agatha start, start their way to the next trial, Rio's br brought up and, mm -hmm. and it sounded, it, it was almost inferred that Agatha did something to her, yeah. um, during the havoc of that, of that scene with, with Billy coming out. Um, and, and then later through, um, Lila or Lilia, I, I swear I'm apologizing to our listeners right now. I'm pretty sure we've pronounced this character's name differently at least five or ten times. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember exactly. So, um, is that is that um, she Rio is death the mm -hmm. A.K. the original Green Witch. Yep. <laughs> what can I say? I like the bad ones. <laughs> So, I like the bad so, boys. <laughs> so is this is this like new his like is is the original Green Witch really death? Like I'm confused. Um, I mean, at least in the context of this show, I mean, I think yeah, I mean, because remember, what was it in, uh, when they were was it episode five? Whenever the Green Witch showed up, um, they they were trying to conjure the Green Witch. If I recall, oh. oh gosh, early like what? Did, whenever they when they first summoned Rio, weren't they trying to summon the Green Witch? Oh the, oh okay okay, the you know, Green what, Witch. What, so I was thinking about the witch from the Wizard, Wizard of Oz that Agatha mm -hmm. was dressed up as, right? Um, this episode, not the green witch who we thought at the very beginning of this series was uh mrs hart yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but mrs hart dead you know what mrs hart if you're listening please return and be like i'm not <laughs> dead i just made right. you think I was. yeah 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 <laughs> because you know since mrs hart was dead needed still... someone to add to the number in the coven yeah so they yeah so and that's when she showed up. Well, they needed a green witch because each yeah. of the trials, and I mean, ha have have we experienced the green witch trial? Because I don't. I felt like uh, Mrs. Hart was taken out early. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. okay, that that makes more sense. So yeah, I mean, yeah, and I think they were just having. You know, I think you know clearly they. Had Agatha show up as the the the, the Green Witch, just uh, you know, just uh, the Wicked Witch, the the wicked witch, witch. just for, for yeah, just for fun. But yeah, but at the end of the day, no, she she's not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and also still again with all of the lines about cu cultural culture appropriation. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> that was a nice touch. Which, yeah, with Tur Lila and Jen, Yeah, that was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it it can it just dawned on me how how layered of a joke that is considering all the history of Disney 
and culture <laughs> appropriation. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the writers are getting their 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 giggles for sure. They totally are. Yeah, totally are. I mean, because yeah, because yeah, we had that a few weeks yeah with the broomsticks and now this one, this episode. Mm-hmm. So yeah, every I think there's always at least one reference to that in, in each episode <laughs> in some form or fashion. Yeah. <laughs> Lately, lately there has been, um, and, and then next week will be our say la vie as they close with episode eight and nine. And so, yeah, yeah, it's just, I I think so far, granted, we haven't watched the last two episodes. They haven't even aired yet, but I feel as though Agatha all along has done is re- has they started off strong there was a dip but it wasn't a a dip to like can we please stop watching this yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> it just got a little bit more silly mm-hmm. but now especially with the last two episodes it's just like it was silly but it was still doing things to set up to the foundation that got us here yeah. And good, good Lord, what they've set up for those final two episodes. But I'm I'm very excited and I'm very happy that we have circled back to this because um, it overall it's 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 just a season of TV that we didn't think we wanted nor needed mm-hmm. at this mm-hmm. point. But so far, I'm pretty I'm pretty glad we we got it and um, yeah. it's doing well from what I understand in the ratings and yeah 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 I completely agree and and you know one last little bit of the, the score with the show and just uh, you know with the ending credits with Jim Croce's Time in a Bottle I mean that was just again just I think put the like put the cherry on top of the uh, of the uh, of this episode because it was just such a great touch given all the things that that happened in that episode so it it, it is a great touch however all that song makes me think about though is the um is ironically in a weird way the the x-men sequence of mm. um quicksilver huh. <laughs> Because that's the song that's played. Am I not wrong about that? Oh gosh! When we first right. see Evan Peters Quicksilver in that movie, that I'm blanking on which one of them it is. It's not the second one. They try to redo it, and it's just shit. But it's it's so I don't think it's Apocalypse. I think it's the other one. It, it, it's all done to time in a bottle, and oh, it's just is, brilliant. Huh? Is it Days of Future Past or? I can't. I think remember. it might be. Days Yes, it's Days of Future Past. Because because then you're left after that sequence thinking to yourself, really? He couldn't, they, why, why couldn't they just have gone, like, he should have gone with them. <laughs> <laughs> so he had one sequence, and then they tried to redo it in Apocalypse, and it just, like, yep. Apocalypse just imploded on itself. <laughs> but anyways, so... Um, but yeah, so I, I, if, if that for some reason, and arguably maybe it's because the prior week, Evan P- Peters appeared in one mm-hmm. in the show. Um, but yeah, anyways, but, yep. but yeah, it, it was, it was good. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Not a little trippy for me. 